oven. <laughs> Mom, there's no clean clothes. What? Okay, that's it. I'm firing the maid. So, what am I supposed to wear? You know, I just don't feel like being dad today. <laughs> Jimmy, this is all that's left. Just put it on. Fine. Can I have one of his bras to go with it? Mom, where are all my shirts? Forget it. I'm not wearing this. Just put it on. And you don't say anything. It's my first day as assistant manager of the Big Bean. Who's going to take me seriously in this? Wow, this promotion's really going to your head. You weren't this snotty when you were the dancing bean. Hey, hey I wasn't a dancing bean. I was a dancing frioli. <laughs> this is stupid. I look like a fat old businessman. You forgot short. <laughs> Start sleeping in my clothes. <laughs> Love and marriage is brought to you by Sears. Come see the many sides of Sears. It's not surprising that for all the different tastes that people have, there are as many ways to cook. And with state-of-the-art cooktops, fast cooking convection ovens, and easy-to-clean sealed gas burners, cooking's never been more appealing. What might surprise you, though, is that all of these choices are now made possible by Kenmore. Shouldn't you consider the brand that's already at work in over one out of two homes in America? Kenmore. Come see the innovative side of Sears. It started with the Arch Deluxe. Now McDonald's introduces more sandwiches with a grown-up taste. Honey, our little boy, he's growing up. Into what? Whole chicken breast filet and fish filet. It's McDonald's with a grown-up taste. Now get McDonald's Chicken Deluxe or Fish Deluxe free with this coupon when you buy large fries and a medium Coke. Just look for the coupons. See stores for details. I heard about this car that's supposed to be safe for you and your kids, but it's so expensive you probably couldn't afford to have kids and that car at the same time. How about a Chevrolet Cavalier? It comes with a safety cage, dual airbags, even standard anti-lock brakes. So for around $12,000, you really can get everything you want in a safe car, including kids. Who decided that only people who can afford expensive cars should be safe? Get the car that's easy to own, a Cavalier. A genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. Late night tonight, Mad TV goes to the movies with a Toy Story spoof that's definitely not for kids. Plus, Living Singles Kim Coles teaches the facts of life. I'm here for sex education, okay? The only test you gotta worry about passing is the pregnancy test. A brand new Mad TV, late night tonight. On Fox NFL Sunday, our NFL insiders break down the game like no one else can. Then, one of the best rivalries in all of football explodes onto the gridiron as the Packers battle the Bears. Or the Niners take on the Rams. Fox NFL Sunday, tomorrow. Check local listings. Max, we've been staking out this guy for an hour. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm hungry. Nobody said spying was easy. That's why there's been so many James Bonds. You're on your own. I'm out of here. Wait! Stand right, dog. Bumblebee needs backup. <laughs> oh, my God! It's him! It's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him! He just walked into the living room. He lives alone. Do you know what they call people like that? Loners. <laughs> He doesn't live alone. He lives with his mother. You know what they call people like that? You, when you grow up. <laughs> what are we doing here? Look at him. That's the guy from America's Most Wanted. What guy? You know, 
the guy that killed the gas station attendant in Scranton, Pennsylvania, he beat him to death with that huge piece of wood attached to the bathroom key. Max, time for your tap lessons. Mom, we're playing guy stuff here. Oh, well, apparently Fred Astaire was not a guy. Gene Kelly was not a guy. Remember you saw Anchors Away, dancing, and the military? I gotta go. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me for an hour. It's still two dollars, right? Right. <laughs> Dylan? I'm trying to win Sex Pistols tickets. You know, your father and I saw them live. No, stop. Don't. <laughs> yeah, we were at the Mud Club seeing Patti Smith. Do you know her? Oh. They just jumped up on stage and started playing. It was great. Sid Vicious signed my ass. Hi, Michigan. Listing for Dr. Jack Kevorkian. Where's Michael? In his room. Well, okay, we gotta move fast. Now, which would Michael like best? Mitzvah heart, you know, I wear half, he wears half. Gap shirt, matching socks, cotton poly blend, or Tony Robbins personal power too, recommended by Fran Tarkenton. Uh, okay, <laughs> all I heard was Michael the Gap and Fran Tarkenton. What's the connection? Oh, it's our six month anniversary. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's been six months since I found you hiding in Michael's closet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I am going to give him the heart. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, you guys got anything special planned for tonight? Well, he keeps pretending like we're gonna go see a matinee and grab a hot dog, so I can't wait to see what he really has planned. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Dollface! Love a man! Barf bags are located in the seat pocket directly in front of you. <laughs> hey, honey, it's Michael and Kathleen's six-month anniversary. Really? Wow! Mm -hmm. Hey! Hi. <laughs> okay, let's go. Movie starts in an hour. Hey, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm not in the movie. <laughs> well, come on, Michael. I can't wait to get to that matinee and have a... Wait, what was it? A hot dog. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Okay, apparently I missed something because everyone's just a little too excited about this hot dog movie thing. Michael, focus. Today is your six month anniversary. With who? With little Miss Double Espresso in the evening gown. Oh. Here's 50 bucks. Take her to Carmine's, go inside. Excuse yourself, run out back across the street. There's a flower shop, buy some roses, bring them back, hand them to her, and then say, surprise, happy anniversary. And when she gives you that stupid little charm, pretend you like oh, it. No, she got me a charm. Pretend harder. <laughs> You know, Michael's got himself one sweet girlfriend. I know. I love her. Why don't you marry her? <laughs> you still trying for sex pistol tickets? You know, Sid Vicious signed, signed your, your mother's, mother's ass. ass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, see? I knew I loved it here. <laughs> hey, thanks again for the wonderful anniversary. Hot dog at a movie. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> You're not wearing your charm. I didn't want to get it wet. <laughs> Come on, where is it? Right here. Well, I want to see how it looks on you. Oh. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> she put it on. Mm. Two hearts that beat as one. That's not written on it, is it? <laughs> Do you realize that in six months, we will be celebrating our one-year anniversary? <laughs> wow. <laughs> one year. That's a long time. <laughs> one whole... God, this is heavy. Okay, well, look, I gotta go. The cab's waiting. I absolutely love you. Mm. <laughs> oh, two hearts that beat as one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I wish your stupid thing was a cross. Nice heart. Very butch. So, when do you get fitted for the ball and chain? Yeah, right. Michael and Kathleen, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, 
Then comes Michael working three jobs to support a fat wife. Jumbo, shrimp. Silent, scream. These are all examples of oxymorons. <laughs> See, a stakeout doesn't have to be boring. I wonder if you'd bounce. He's home! He's home! He's home! He's home! He's home! He's home! Oh my God! He's got a duffel bag. Oh, my God! So? <laughs> Have you seen his mother lately? The duffel bag! I wonder why he's bringing her back into his apartment. He wants to get caught. It's self-destructive behavior. My mother told me all about it. <laughs> we gotta get in there. Why? What, are you chicken? Yes, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Forget it, I'll go alone. But that's breaking and entering. I can't go to prison. I just make friends at public school. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Hey, Michael. Hi, sunshine. Whatever. Christopher, what'd you do today? Me and Max just hung out. You and Max, huh? Ooh, looks like somebody's finally got a little friend. He's not my friend. I don't have a friend. I don't need friends. I don't like people. And which check in Montana should we send your stuff to? Great day at the flea market. Oh, God, Jack, not more broken appliances. April, this toaster is one nut away from working. So are you. <laughs> Speak. Oh, hey, Kathleen. Hold on a sec. What? I'm not here. Oh. Okay, where do I say you are? I'm at work. What, what, what work? The pizza place. What time are you getting home? Late. I can't call until tomorrow. Got it. Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> hey, Kathleen. Uh, you know, at the store, you can buy all this stuff new. Jimmy, be nice. This is your father's sad little hobby. Let him play. Thank you. But, Mom, he's like a potential lunatic. He constantly carts his crap around. The neighbors all look. And if they don't, they should. It's sick. It's weird. It's twisted. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, li listen, Kat, my mom's calling me. I gotta go. I'll call you later. Okay, bye. So, what's going on with you and Kathleen? What do you mean? Well, I couldn't help but notice that big fat lie you just told her there. Oh, well, Kathleen and I, we broke up. What? When? Soon. Is he just blowing her off? Michael, this is not the way to treat somebody. This is a sweet girl. She comes in here, she's polite, she talks to your mother. How many people do that? Hey, what does that mean? Nothing, I'm just making a point. I'm going to break up with her. I'm doing it tomorrow. But why? She's great. I mean, she's crazy about she's you. She's smothering me, okay? I mean, I I've got things I'm doing. I've got work. I've got school. I've got a future. And I don't want to be 18 and tied down with a wife and baby. I'm not ready to marry this girl. I'm not you. I don't want this. So, this having kids thing, we're done, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> movie that blew you away, Twister, is now for sale on video. Run! Hold on to your truck. Hold on to your house. Hold on to your TV. Twister, now for sale on video. The promise of tomorrow. To put down roots. To be there for your kids to watch your family grow. Owning a home means something different to everyone, but the dream always starts the same. For a free guide that can help you on the path to homeownership, call the Fannie Mae Foundation. We're showing America a new way home. They really lower the prices. Red Lobster introduces new low prices. Now, 15 dinners under $10. Try our new shrimp combo. All this just $7.99. I like shrimp. I'm a shrimp eater. New low prices at Red Lobster now.
The Fox Tuesday Night Movie presents Judith Light and Roseanne's Johnny Galecki in Murder at My Door. Every mother wants to protect her son. But what if you suspected... I need to know what's going on with you. He was a cold-blooded killer. You don't know my thoughts, mother. What would you do? Katie didn't make it home last night. We have to go to the police. Judith Light, Johnny Galecki, Murder at My Door. World premiere on the Fox Tuesday Night Movie. Remember the house your parents warned you to stay away from? This Friday... Oh, my God. You'll understand why. This is our home. And this is the way it's gonna stay. Mother! A brand new X-Files, Friday. E.T. is back. One of the most popular films of all time is coming back on video cassette to entertain a whole new generation and capture our hearts once again. Digitally mastered in THX for superior picture and sound, featuring interviews and a behind-the-scenes look. Pick up Steven Spielberg's E.T., the extraterrestrial on video cassette for a limited time only and get a $5 rebate when you buy five of these Pillsbury products. In the ham drawer. Come on. Second show. Second from the top or second from the bottom? Find the milk. It comes in a carton. Go down a shelf. Once you're there, go two swans to the left. Now the next thing. Don't touch it. Look behind it. <laughs> Is it there? No. Oh, that's right. I just remembered it's at the store. Oh, and listen, while you're there, get some bread so you can make me a sandwich. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Kathleen. Want a sandwich? Oh, Kathleen. Hi, honey. Oh, you look good. Did you leave something here? Uh, no. Jack, look, it's Kathleen. Oh, honey. <laughs> you look good, doesn't she? Yes, she does. <laughs> Jimmy, what's going on? I think you're dying. So, what are you doing here? I've got a date. Well, good for you. Climb back on that horse. What can we do for you? Uh, nothing. Michael and I had a date. I was supposed to meet him here at 7. What? Is something wrong? No. No, you just sit down. Yeah, we'll get you a soda. You want a soda? No. We'll get you a soda. <laughs> Jimmy, why don't you take Kathleen into your room and play? Play? What are you, drunk? Jenny, go! Come on, Kathleen. Let's go pour a bucket of pig's blood on prom queen Barbie. What is she doing here? I thought he was gonna break up with her. <sighs> Jimmy, come here. What's she doing? Oh, well, I had to leave because it got too weird. She's out there, sitting on the sofa. <laughs> you know what? He didn't break up with her. She's out there thinking they're still together. This is terrible. I agree. That poor girl out there innocently waiting for him. This is just wrong. I can't believe he wasn't man enough to confront this situation. I know. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stay in here till she goes away. <laughs> Please, if you guys aren't going to tell her, I will. Stop it. You are not going to say a word to her about this. In fact, don't you talk to her at all. You mean shun her? How Amish. <laughs> Jim, you are a bobby pin. <laughs> Why? You two midgets want to do your hair? <laughs> wow. She's wonderful. <laughs> you go first. No, you go first. You go. You go. You go. You go. Let's both go at the same time. What do you see? I don't know. My eyes are closed. <laughs> I'm all open, Grandma. Ah! <laughs> what do you see? Oh, hey, hi. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. 
We had tickets to my friend Heather's play tonight, remember? Yes, but my job called at the last minute. Which job? My hospital job. When did you get a hospital job? Tonight. It was an emergency. <laughs> at the emergency hospital. There was blood and screaming and, and feet and people in emergency situations. <laughs> hey, look, excuse me for trying to save someone's life. Okay. Fire escape now. Michael, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? What do I mean? Your obviously not yet ex-girlfriend is sitting in my living room. I just haven't had a chance to talk to her yet. Oh, that's crap. Come on, Michael. Are you going to break up with her or not? I don't know. I mean, one minute, everything was great. And the next minute, it's a six-month anniversary, and I'm wearing a half a heart necklace and sweating a lot. And then I start having these dreams about being on a bus and pulling the stop-requested cord over and over, and it never stops. <laughs> so you're scared. I just have this life plan, you know? I have things I want to accomplish, and a girlfriend was never really part of that. I just don't want to get off track. Great, you've got a plan. You know what? She's got a plan, too. She plans on sitting in that living room until she gets some answers. Now, your mother and I have been hiding in the kitchen for two hours, and there's no chairs in there. <laughs> so I don't care what you tell her, just get her out of my living room. I don't know what to say to her. Say what you want. She's a sweet girl who came into our house and gave us respect. And I don't want to watch much more of this. Now, if you're not man enough to tell her what's going on, Believe me, Jimmy is. Remember the part we were in? We were so in. I wasn't scared, were you scared? Not until you screamed. That was so excellent. We gotta go back. Does this mean we're friends? No. Okay. So? So either they're breaking up or they're having sex in the kitchen. Oh, so now we can't go in the kitchen. God! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom! Excuse me. Voodoo doll. Instructions included. I can get you more of this if you need it. Michael, in the hall. Kathleen, come here, honey. I hate him. Oh, I know. I don't know how this happened. I mean, I have a 4.0 grade point average. I have a partial scholarship to Columbia. I speak two languages. I mean, I am smart. I would have done anything for him. Oh, God. I ate fries on a diet. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm going to tell you some things that'll make no sense right now, but later will really help. Now, write this down. I am a great girl. Oh, April. Right. I will get over this. I will fall in love again. I will never meet anyone as cool as Jack and April, but I will find a boy to buy a broken heart charm for. Now, when you're ready, I want you to take it out and read it. It'll make you feel better. Screw the list. Stick the doll. Kathleen? <laughs> I just want to say that most guys would have felt lucky to have a girl like you. I hope we can still be friends. Oh, stupid, no, Michael. Stupid, stupid, moron. <laughs> Michael, give me my heart back. Good luck, kiddo. I feel terrible. I mean, I feel really, really awful. I know. I've been there. I had a girlfriend once, got a little too close. I got scared, and we broke up. I felt like I was going to die. What happened? I married her. Oh, God. <laughs> One day, some guy is going to break your heart, and that breaks mine. You know what, Mom? Put it on a hallmark. <laughs> Wow, what a day. Okay. Nardini trivia. Do you remember the fight we had before that breakup? Yes, I do. We were fighting over what to name Michael. Very good. 
I still think I was right. Jack, don't even start. Fredo was never an option. I'm just saying it would have been cool. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Yo, listen up. We will not live in a two-dimensional world. We won't go in one direction or see where we can set. We will walk through walls. We will take a look around us. We will not be confined. We believe in the path of least limits. We won't be told how to view the world. We will experience true freedom. We will not compromise. We will live the game through our hands. We will be in control of something. Change. 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 We will change the system. Only from Domino's, our newest crust sensation, new Roma Herb, tangy sun-dried tomatoes, slow-roasted garlic, and fresh basil baked into our classic hand-tossed dough. Then crunchy Parmesan topping all around the edge. Wow. New Roma Herb Crust, only for a limited time. Call now and get a Roma Herb Crust or any large one-topping pizza for $9.99. Any second one-topping pizza, just $4.99. Or wow, call Domino's. For those of you who have hours on end to shop for clothes, you may want to switch the channel. Now, for the rest of us in the real world, there's Worthington. With Worthington, you can put together a totally great work wardrobe on your lunch break. See, like this goes really great with this, which goes fabulous with this, and it all goes with your budget. So, you'll probably have enough left over to actually eat something. Worthington, only at JCPenney. It works for working women. Food court, 10 minutes. On Fox NFL Sunday, our NFL insiders break down the game like no one else can. Then, one of the best rivalries in all of football explodes onto the gridiron as the Packers battle the Bears or the Niners take on the Rams. Fox NFL Sunday, tomorrow. Check local listings. First breakup, six years old. Craig Hoffman hit me over the head with a plastic shovel. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's how it started. <laughs> Stan Jeffries, senior prom, dumped me for the starting quarterback. <laughs> well, that's good, but not good enough. Kevin Haggerty, spray painted, April, you drool when you kiss, it's over, on my locker. <laughs> Oh, please, move over. Bye, Mom, I'm going out. Bye. <laughs> okay, Trudy, hit me with your best shot. I'm engaged to a man who tells me he has to go off and fight in a war. I believe him. And then it dawns on me. He's Swiss. <laughs> Okay, you win. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Bob Donnelly. A little boy sitting in a car is shot in the head tonight. We'll have the very latest on this still breaking story. Plus an interview with former LA Dodger manager Tommy Lasorda, still in the hospital recovering from heart surgery. Also, the sometimes deadly policy of police pursuits by one Southland law enforcement agency is making a change. And the red carpet is rolled out on Hollywood Boulevard tonight. Stars and star watchers turn out tonight for the opening of a new museum. We'll take you there live next on Fox 11 News. The Rams put up a goal line stand, stopping Tommy Vardell on fourth and goal. But you know what? They couldn't stop the Niners all day. Evis hits tight end Ted Popson with a one-yard TD pass. Thank you very much. 7-0 San Francisco in the second quarter of the same. Participating Carl's Jr. Restaurants. And if you really want something to scream about, come to Six Flags Fright Fest, Fridays through Sundays, beginning October 11th. There's a haunted mansion, the creepy hollow stage show, hypnotists, mentalists, a pool patrol, and more for all ages, plus the world's scariest scream machines. But hurry, this offer disappears October 31st. 
The 49ers take on the Rams in Fox NFL Football. The action all starts Sunday at 9 on Fox 11. Brought to you in part by Jack in the Box. The Southland's number one choice for news at 10. Fox 11 News. Good evening, I'm Bob Downing.